Hello everyone. My name is Masha and I have a message from the Lord for you today. So I got this message a few nights ago when I was winding down for the evening and the Lord said to me that it is time for you to set a table so that he can bless it and fill it with goods. <laughs> um, so I'm going to actually read what I wrote down that evening when this message came to me. Um, and, you know, as I do this more often, I'll be a little bit more organic about it. But right now, I do need my notebook with me. So, all right. If you set the table for God, so if you make room in your life for God, he will bless it. If you make the room in your heart, if you choose to believe, he will have no choice but to ensure, to ensure your blessing and to answer the call. He will answer the cry. He will answer the prayer. Because our God is a truthful God. He does not lie when he says he will restore, he will heal. He will always guide you to the best outcome. Why? Because you are his child. He is your father, and he doesn't back away or break his promises. He gives, he gives to his children. It is our expectation. It is our rushing, our sin that creates delay between where we are and where we want to be. God says, I will bless you, but you have to live according to my laws. You can receive, but you have to give yourself fully to me. I have to know that you are committed, says the Lord. He says, I have to know that you understand that you're a soldier in Christ before you can wield my sword. We have to set ourselves up and make room for success in our lives. God will not answer a call that isn't put out there. If you want to see restoration, deliverance, if you want to be blessed, then you have to be the one that asks him for that. And he will answer. Um, you know, for me personally, I have a huge testimony, and I'll make a video about that later on. But for me personally, it wasn't until I actually cried out to the Lord, like cried out to the Lord, that he answered because before that I was just tiptoeing right I just thought like he'll approach me whatever no we have to make the room we have to set the table you have to set the table you have to create the conditions for success you have to create the room and the space for the Lord to do his job you have to cry out to Jesus for Jesus to come to you because he is always there there God is always there but until we actually make the space and understand that he is with us, until we actually commit to that and show him by crying out to him, he, he won't be able to answer, right? He, we, he knows everything on our hearts, but it is until we are ready and we cry out to him that he is like, okay, you will now receive because you've asked for it. You're now ready. You're reaching for it. That's why, that's why, you know, in this Christian faith, it's always talked about, um, you know, you just have to have the faith of a mustard seed. The mustard seed is so tiny, but it grows into such a flourishing, thriving plant. And that's what I did this year. I had, you know, a little bit of faith. And with that little bit of faith, I was watering that little seedling. And it's now grown so large that I have to tell the world about this. <laughs> so I'm making this video. So... I hope this made sense and I really want to end this off with a prayer and this is also a prayer that I wrote the same night that I received this this message from the Lord Lord God Almighty Father who sits in heaven Jesus Christ I ask you to bless every single soul hearing this ministry today God open our eyes further so that we may see the beauty and bounty around us God bless our ears so that we may always hear what you are speaking God, thank you for putting us here at this time. We know you need your strongest, boldest sons and daughters to come out of their hiding season and into your light. 
God, thank you for choosing us. We are not worthy, but through you, we are able to rise to the awesome occasion of serving you as is our purpose. God, thank you for all that we are and all that we have and all that we are about to receive. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stay blessed, my friends, and I will see you again.